In today's episode, you will learn how to make your own power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adapter or a 12 volt battery or any other DC voltage source. The source voltage should be greater than 5 volts and less than 35 volts. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to add female headers so that it can be easily interfaced with Arduino Uno or other electronic circuits. Let's get started! The components that we will be needing for this project are number 1. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module Number 2. 5 by 7 cm Vero board Number 3. 470 microfarad capacitors We will need two of these Number 4. Female DC socket Number 5. 7805 voltage regulator First leg is the input, middle one is the ground and the third one is the output Number 6. LED The longer leg is the anode and the shorter one is the cathode Number 7. 330 ohm resistor and Number 8. Female headers the components purchase links are given in the description if you want to learn how to install the Node MCU board and how to install the Blink library then you should watch this tutorial. Link is given in the description. First of all insert the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module into the Vero board and complete the soldering. After the soldering is completed, then trim the legs using a cutter and make sure to wear protective glasses. Now insert the female headers and be very careful while doing the soldering. Now short the female headers with the pins of node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now check the short circuit using a digital multimeter. So now as you can see female headers are soldered on both sides of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which was the difficult part. If you want to make a PCB for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, then you should watch my tutorial on how to make a schematic and PCB and Soft Eagle 9.1.0 version, in which I explained in very detail how to make a power supply and how to add female headers, and how to do the manual routing. You should definitely watch this tutorial is this tutorial will really help you in so many other projects the link is given in the description now insert 7805 voltage regulator into the vero board and solder its legs now insert 470 microfarad capacitors or one at the output and the other one at the input and complete the soldering As you can see the two capacitors are soldered. A 330 ohm resistor is connected with the regulator output pin and the other end of the resistor is connected with the anode side of the LED while the cathode side of the LED is connected with the ground. A female DC socket is connected on the input side of the regulator. The green wire is connected with the regulator pin number 1 which is the input and the black wire is connected with the ground pin which is the middle pin. Make sure you connect all the grounds together. The VN pin of the node MCU is connected with the output of the 7805 regulator and the ground of the node MCU is connected with the ground of the regulator. Note, double check the short circuit and continuity using a digital multimeter. If you want to learn in detail how to use a digital multimeter, then watch this tutorial. It covers everything. 
Now let's power up this module using a 12 volt adopter. Note use a heat sink or with a regulator as it gets hot. As you can see we can control these LEDs now this module can be easily used in any project. In my next tutorial I will be making a complete home automation system using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and Blink application. I hope you liked this episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.